On the web, bit raster images like JPEGs or PNGs are treated as having an intrinsic aspect ratio, which is determined by the width of the image divided by the height. This is what allows images to scale their height up or down with changes in width and vice versa, at least in cases where both the height and width haven't been explicitly set. This behavior is so intrinsic to images on the web, authors often don't realize they're relying on this feature. Text elements like paragraphs or divs, on the other hand, do not have intrinsic aspect ratios. A change in width usually means an opposite change in height. When you make an element less wide, it becomes more tall, just as making the element more wide makes it less tall. Most of the time, this is the right thing to do and is one of the key pillars of responsive design. But what if you have elements that aren't images, and yet you still want them to have an intrinsic aspect ratio? For example, a series of divs that are meant to represent 16 by 9 displays, but that don't have actual images inside them. If each div is 384 pixels wide, then to be 16 by 9, they each need to be 216 pixels tall. In cases where the width is always precisely set, then the height can also be precisely set. That's not very responsive, though. It would be better to set the width implicitly through Flexbox or Grid, and have a way to automatically calculate the height. Now authors can do just that with the aspect ratio property. Any ratio can be expressed as two numbers separated by a forward slash, representing the width and height in that order. A good example of using aspect ratio is with video embeds from platforms like Vimeo or YouTube. The embedding code comes with baked in pixel sizes. This breaks down in situations where the layout has more or less room than those precise sizes can accommodate, such as in this example, where there's a bunch of leftover white space to the side of the videos. But if we remove those baked in sizes and try to use CSS to size the frames instead, it's easy to set the width, but that auto height gets collapsed. This is normal unexpected behavior in 99% of layout cases, but in this particular case, it's far from ideal. With aspect ratio, the problem is solved. The width can be set, and then a height is automatically determined by the browser by way of the aspect ratio value. This allows for truly responsive designs, even when embedding videos or other media. This advance in web design capability was brought to both mobile and desktop WebKit browsers thanks to work done by Agalia, the world's leading open source browser consultancy.